Hey, what's going on, Victorious Army? Hope y'all had a good Sunday today. Um, today I wanted to talk about two things here. One, giving yourself credit, and two, emotional instability. So I'm going to start with the latter. So for me, for the longest while, I've been dealing with emotional instability. Meaning one minute I may be feeling good, thinking positive thoughts, you know, having having a greater vibration. And then next minute or later on in the day, I feel like all that just kind of wears off and I'm just feeling very low. I've had this for a good while now, really. And it's hard really to keep myself in a happy vibration for an extended period of time. Or in a better feeling vibration for an extended period of time. And, you know, it's real, it's real difficult. And I realize this starts to happen when, like I was saying earlier, I'm thinking of more positive thoughts, having a greater day, a greater experience, or, you know, just having an overall more positive vibration. Mm. Another one. I notice this really happens when personally I start to think greater of myself. Like I start to think more positive about myself and all the things that I've been through. I'm gonna start to think like, yeah. You know, I've been through a whole lot of shit and I feel great about actually being here, being, and then, you know, having that true spurt of happiness or positive energy only for later for it to be taken down or just lowered very surely. And it's interesting how, like, Today, earlier, I was feeling so great. I was thinking about just doing this vlog solely on, you know, giving yourself credit. And that was all so well and fine. And then just later throughout the day, you know, I was going on, you know, trying to do things for Mother's Day. And then all of this other stuff got me thinking about, you know, the whole Mother's Day and then the Matrix type stuff. And then everything just kind of slowly teetered down. I could say maybe that's slightly because I started to just slowly walk into this type of thought that didn't really bring me any happiness and I didn't really catch it. Or it could because that's just maybe how it may be for me for a little bit as far as... um. You know, thinking well about myself, then everything just starts to go out the window. I, for one, don't want to stay in negativity or stay in lower vibration for many different reasons. But honestly, the main one is I just don't like feeling like crap. I just don't. I really don't. And one thing I've thought about that... um that I've had, I guess, within my younger life was that regardless of how much shit people threw at me or all the things people wanted to do to me and I was simply helpless to do anything about it, I always did my best to just go on and do my best to be and just be happy, you know, before my spiritual awakening. I was just always a whole lot more happy. 
Then I started to think, well, happy about what, really? I guess simply just being. Just going through different things, you know, day to day or just moving along. Doing whatever it is I guess I had to do that day or just simply being. And now it's like... Just upward and downward. And, you know, this is really taxing, I guess, especially when trying to be in higher vibrations and follow your dreams. It's real difficult. But I'm going to start, I'm going to go to now what it was originally I wanted to speak about, which was giving yourself credit. Right? Me personally, I've been through a whole lot of shit, like I said earlier. And now I've just started coming around to really starting to give myself credit for going through all these things and truly still choosing to remain happy or remain in a better vibration. You know, regardless of how much crap I had to deal with. (sighs) From my father, maybe. Or my molester. Or all of these other types of things. I still chose to remain happy. Just push that shit aside and... Continue going. So, I mean, I think right now the best way for me to handle my emotional instability is for me to either, you know, one, catch it. If I feel like I'm falling down that route, if I have the clairvoyance to catch that or two, just start to pick myself back up with better thoughts. Those are the best ways I believe for me to do that for now. And if you're out there dealing with something like this too, that's my recommendation for it. Because I realize I don't deserve to feel like shit. I don't deserve to feel like this. I don't deserve to have to be fighting so hard internally just to have a stable mindset, just to have a stable feeling of my own self. And it angers me almost to feel or to be happy for a minute or you know feel positive for a moment and then just fall so greatly downward into a lower vibration or worse feeling. It's really just so unfair, but the thing about unfair is the only thing you can do is make that shit fair. That's one thing my mom told me. Stuff is unfair, you make it fair. So that's what I'm doing my best to do. I'm going to make this shit fair for me. Don't know how. But I'm going to fucking do it. Because I don't like this at all. But back to giving yourself credit. Like I said, I realize I've been through so many things. And for the longest time now, I've been kind of thinking like that, like I've been through so many different things and I deserve to feel better about it. Right. I'm here. I'm still moving. I still choose to have greater feeling and vibration within myself. I still choose to do things that make me happier or and move towards a better life like 
I'm just like, fuck this, man. I'm so sick of this shit. But once again, I have to figure out how to internally, emotionally stabilize myself. And I guess partially to do with that is giving myself credit, you know, for getting through my own sexual abuse, getting over my molester, you know, going through bullshit ass people and still managing to be here and still not giving up my kindness or my happiness you know, still choosing to look forward into a greater, I don't know, tomorrow or destiny or whatnot, whatever I can latch on to at the time. So I just wanted to take this video and say, give yourself credit, especially if you've been through some fucking bullshit. And it's left you just feeling like crap every time you try to lift yourself up and feel better about yourself. You know? Because I know I deserve to feel greatly better. I know I deserve to be greatly happy or in higher vibration each day. So, even if you realize within your mind that, you know, you deserve to give yourself credit and you don't really feel like it, you don't really see how that's going to help, still at least take the time to realize that you deserve that credit, you know, because you have to give it to yourself. You deserve that you deserve to lift yourself up after being just shit on your whole life by people who you thought were supposed to really help you out and lift you up as well after you've been trying to lift them up. I mean, Hardest thing to do is just reach for it mentally and thought and emotion and, and spiritual essence. You gotta reach for it. And it is hard, but you must because you deserve it. Give yourself credit for what you've been through. Give yourself credit for still choosing to remain yourself regardless of all of this garbage that people want to put on you or put you through. So. That's about it. Hope y'all had a great day. You know. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers. You know, regardless if it's a fictitious holiday or not, you know, Mother's Day should pretty much be every day. Instead of just once a day, or once a year. But either way it goes, hope y'all have a great night or day or morning whenever you're viewing this. Always remember, lead yourself to your greatest victory. Give yourself that credit. You deserve it. Peace. Oh, oh, oh.